2013, several rockets targeted Eilat from Egypt's Sinai. Following Mohamed Morsi's fall from power in Egypt, several terrorist groups spread out in the Sinai Peninsula. In August, an Iron Dome anti-missile defense battery was placed by Israel outside Eilat and intercepted one of the rockets launched over. Sirens went off that day, some panic was felt in the city, and though ultimately no one was hurt, there was some momentary concern. People were a little bit afraid, uh, especially the tourists, of course. Uh, the Israelis are already used to it. Of course, we uh, kind of guided them. They all came down to the reception. We, first of all, we explained them the situation and uh, we explained what they have to do. We go to the shelter. Actually, when the siren went off, uh, we sent everybody here. That's the shelter of the hotel. And um, everybody came down. They were very quiet, actually. There was no panic and no stress. They came down, they sat here for like 15, 20 minutes. Uh, we of course brought them, brought them some things uh, to drink and some drinks to eat uh, to keep everything calm. In the end it became a little bit of uh, fun, uh, how weird it seems. Uh, the lobby started working very hard, the, the alarm was about 12 o'clock in the night. Right after people came to the lobby and started drinking and having pizzas and uh, everything was normal. The Iron Dome anti-missile defense battery intercepted the rockets and though for some it was somewhat of a cultural experience, there is concern that these Sinai terrorist attempts to disrupt life in the adjacent Israeli city of Eilat may impact the city's tourism. It takes five years to build a vacation destination and to put it back on the map. In 2000 we had the second uh, intifada and uh, we went down from about 50 flights, weekly flights, to Eilat to Ovda from Europe to zero. 2006, again, we had the second Lebanon war and we got, went down to zero again. And in 2011, hopefully, we are starting back with this year about 24 flights. In the beginning, when uh, the first uh, rockets were launched, we felt a little bit uh, and we had felt a little decrease in the tourism uh, movement in Ilat. But uh, because we had just now the summer and uh, the main business in the summer is from Israelis and the Israelis are known as people that uh, even if there's war or everything, they will always uh, go out for vacation. So we didn't really feel felt it. We are getting some phone uh, from an uh, agent in, uh, overseas, checking, asking what is the situation, if it's quiet, if it's safe to come here. Despite the anxiety at the moment, it appears this vacation destination is up and running as usual and offers quite a lot to those who won't shy away due to threats from the Egyptian side of the border. Yes, there were two or three missiles lately that uh, was uh, put us in a situation that was uncomfortable, but the IDF did a great job and uh, I think that right now everything is peace and quiet. We had that before, uh, last year, the year before, every once in a while some terrorist organization tried to uh, get the attention, it's, it doesn't affect uh, the tourism and the life in a lot. We have a strong army and our technology that we have in the army can uh, solve a lot of uh, problems that uh, can be if we didn't have this uh, equipment. If somebody is trying to uh, send some missile to uh, the area of the hotel or some uh, terrorism organization will try to attack the, uh, a tourist uh, area. It's not like other places in the world. It's one of the security uh, areas in the world. Tourism officials hope to entice those travelers who feel they can no longer vacation in Egypt's bordering Sinai. We hope that because of the situation that uh, happened in uh, Egypt, uh, um, tourists look for a uh, vacation in a lot instead of uh, Sinai, but uh, it, yet it didn't come. We are in one side uh, having more tourists that uh, were supposed to go to Sinai and instead of that they're coming to Elat. But on the other hand, we have a lot of uh, pilgrims that uh, normally they make the tour from Egypt through Elat and through uh, Jerusalem and that we don't feel anymore. So we earned some and we lost some. In total, I hope, I hope, I believe that uh, everything will be calmer and uh, quieter and uh, that we keep uh, business as usual. Elat, every day is a Sunday. This is the motto of Elat. It's a modern city with a lot of uh, good hotels, good attraction, and as you can see, sun. 
Everything here is very, very modern, very, very nice. I think everybody who comes to that uh, is um, surprised in the, in the beginning. And uh, then we see more and more people coming back every year because they learn that Elad is a nice place, it's safe, uh, and uh, it's worth coming back. Israel's defense minister, Moshe Alon has stated that it's quite possible that with the growing terrorism in Sinai, additional attempts to target Elat will take place again in the future. Even so, in August alone, about 280,000 visitors entered Israel, with 7,000 of them crossing in through this Taba border from Egypt into Elat. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Elat, Israel.